We had a cloudy one out this morning. We had a beautiful sunrise and now it's kind of cloudy and cold. What's up guys? How's it going? So if you remember from last week, we microwaved a 50 cal. We got Marcus here today and we got more 50 cal. I mean, we bought 10. They come in a 10 pack. So like, well, what do we do with the other nine? So I went out and got a blowtorch and today we're going to blowtorch a 50 cal. So I don't know how it's going to go. I think it should be good. I think it should be good. But yeah, we got lots planned today. We're going to make a whole bunch of videos. It's kind of been crappy weather all week, so today is supposed to be good. So yeah, we're just going to get it and send it here. So let's uh, let's fire up this blowtorch and uh, see what happens when you blowtorch a 50 cal behind the Buick and dryer. <laughs> all right, where's my darts? Got my Bic. Got a few bullets here. I'll just turn the GoPro on while we're at it. Dollar store torch that doesn't even want to turn on now. This is embarrassing. All right, so we had a bit of an issue before this regulator froze up, so we sat in the truck and uh, heated it up. It seems to be going now. So it's a very small flame. Yeah. Put these up here. I need something to put it against so it doesn't roll away. All right, well, let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Well, it worked. It only took about uh, 30 seconds there. Marcus didn't know what was going on, so he peeked around the corner. Of course, it went off, but. <laughs> this one's still good. Look at that. The explosion bent this one though. That's nuts. Look at that. I probably shouldn't Give be touching this right now. Yeah. This is a bit warm. <laughs> Camera didn't blow up. Blew up the torch. Wow, that only took like 30 seconds and that was a lot bigger bang than uh, before. The bolt actually landed over here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. Well, we searched for the actual bullet over there. Couldn't find it, but that's crazy. <laughs> it's like dug right into the block. <laughs> this one's wow. just dented right over. Will you say we torch that one now? Yeah, let's torch her up. <laughs> that is pretty epic. Look at that. I don't think that'd fire out of a gun anymore. No. She's a little bent. All right, round two. Round two. Let's see, maybe that shock fixed our regulator problem. No. It's still, like, that's full blast. <laughs> She burning? Oh yeah. Well, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Should we keep this filming while it happens? Yeah, might as well, eh? For the sound clip. I'm standing farther back this time. Me too. for it. Oh, it's hot. Jeez. What the? I don't know where that's going. Oh man, let's see what kind of damn, oh the GoPro fell, there's nothing, oh wait a second. There it is. No damage on the GoPro? Oh that's a little hot, that's a little hot. Oh man, so that's what, that's what happens. Um, unfortunately I don't think we're going to be able to find the bullets on this one, but uh, that was pretty epic. So that's what happens when you when you blow torch a 50 cal. I wouldn't recommend doing it, that's for sure, because this time, unlike the microwave, this time the bullet can go anywhere, and obviously it went up. One landed over there. I don't know where the other one landed, but... It's probably still in the air. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Anyways, we'll wrap this up for now. I just wanted to test that out and see what happened, and that's what happened, so... Um, 
Don't blowtorch 50 cal bullets. Don't just, don't play with bullets in general. It's stupid. Not recommended. Shut up, cow. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys. Leave some funny comments. Go check out the Beaver Dam video. Beaver Dam versus Tannerite or Tannerite versus Beaver Dam. It's pretty epic. We'll see you guys later.